Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. What's up, y'all? Thanks for stopping by the Search T channel. I thought I'd open up with that very familiar saying. We've all heard that. Which, in layman's term, it means that, you know, you can physically be hurt. You know, you'll see bruises. Your bones can be broken, but words should never affect you. It should never offend you. You know, it shouldn't drive you to want to be physically violent. But I guess the uh, followers and the fans of a certain Miss Brie Larson never, I guess they don't understand that as saying. I guess it doesn't apply to them. You got people like myself who are very critical about Brie Larson. And yet, you got these people that are going to are telling you, threatening on social media and all that, that if they ever see a Brie Larson hater, they're going to, you know, throw stones at them. They're going to throw acid at them. And I'm like, this goes hand in hand with the thinking of those who follow you know the left you know what i mean the ones that are against trump who hate the people that support trump and voted for him and you know you get antifa and sjw and feminists and all these other groups that are violent you know and then it carries over to the people that follow celebrities, you know, you, you know, I can give a, you know what, if someone's going to say something bad or like that with, you know, a favorite uh, celebrity of mine, you know, or someone that I follow, you know, favorite musician, favorite, you know, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan and I will defend him till the end of my life, you know, and people are saying what they're saying about him. I've never said that, oh, I want to get these guys and beat the crap out of them. Oh, I want to strangle somebody because he's saying this. Because, number one, it's not going to bring him back. You know, number two, it's a waste of my energy. I'd rather focus my energy on other things, positive things. You know. And you get these people that are threatening physical violence. Just because we happen to disagree with you about Brie Larson. You guys love her. You all follow her to the ends of the earth. You know, you'll do anything for her. You know. Okay, fine. I have celebrities that I like. Maybe you won't. You don't like, you know. But the threat and physical violence, especially on social media, is pretty damn ridiculous, if you ask me. Because if it borders on, you know, breaking the law or kind of putting yourself out there that you want to hurt somebody, eh, you might get a visit from uh, law enforcement or somebody, you know, that's going to uh, kind of take you to task and ask you why, you know, like, I mean, is it worth the risk? What makes you think that Brie Larson cares about you? She's probably as superficial as everybody is in, that's in Hollywood. That they care about themselves. There's only a handful that there's documented evidence and there's, you know, we see them being the best uh, human being that they can be. They love their fans. Keanu Reeves is a prime example of somebody who cares about people and there's no agenda behind it. He genuinely cares about people. We've all seen the video of him on the subway and motioning over to a lady that was standing while he was sitting. He got up, let her have his seat. Everybody who's talked about him when they've seen him in airports or wherever, always down to uh, give you an autograph or talk to you, you know. He donates a lot of money to charity. He's like a very, very giving person. What makes you think that Brie Larson is like that? Is she? You see her in interviews and the way she talks and the way she acts. And I don't know if it's a if it's a if it's a bit or if it's a gag that she's doing where 
she's pretending to be like that just to get a haha, you know, a little jab to the stomach. No, I'm just kidding. No. You see her in interviews. You see how she looks and how she has that condescending way of... And then you guys want to follow her? I mean, like I said, to each his own. You guys want to follow her? Go ahead. You know? I ain't going to stop you. I ain't going to tell you ain't, tell you not to, to do that. But I don't know what Brie Larson thinks. Is she going to encourage that? She, she finds out that her fans want to hurt people, maim people, permanently blind people by throwing acid in their face and throwing stones at them and possibly hurting, breaking bones and stuff like that. Does she like that? Does she condone that? And if she knows about that, I would like to see her, you know, go on her social media, on her Instagram and, and Twitter and tell people to stop stop it you know i'm a big girl now you know i'm a big girl so i don't need you guys to do physical harm to people that just because they hate me but then again she's also shown that she's pretty immature when she comes when it comes to dealing with uh, her detractors and people that hate her you know to tell you the truth you know when i first saw captain america i always say that when i went, when i'm trying to refer to captain marvel i admit that at first i liked the film and i liked her then when i started hearing what people were saying and I didn't let them change my personal opinion about her or my attitude towards her I watched it again and I started seeing what people were talking about and then you see her in interviews you see how she's portrayed just you know, how she's talking especially in recent uh, weeks months and it makes her hateable you know it's like if you don't want to project that type of uh, of a vibe to people then then kind of like check yourself you know, look in the mirror and go, hey, am I doing what I need to do in, in order to come across as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a person that people would want to gravitate towards, you know? Or does Brie Larson not even care? You know, she gets all these millions of dollars and she's getting these big roles and she now is uh, talking about, I mean, you know, at first she had that, uh, what do you call it, that, that you know, she posed in the a Jedi outfit, you know, and people are like just clamoring. Studios are now thinking about making her a Jedi in the upcoming Star Wars films. The fans are like saying that, oh, beautiful Brie, she's perfect as a Jedi. And you see her at uh, premieres, I believe it was on a red carpet. And she's with there with a the C-3PO robot, and she's dressed up. And then she's acting like she's the first one to ever, you know, dress up like that and to be at a premiere. So is she the first one to ever do that too? Is she going to say the same thing about uh, cosplay and going to conventions and all that stuff? That she's going to say that, oh no, those guys uh, did that after me. I mean, this is the same woman that talked about how she's the first uh, ever female, you know, hero, female, uh, badass, or, I'm just paraphrasing, but it's like, she's acting like she's the first one with that, too, and yet, how about, you know, Linda Hamilton as, uh, Sarah Connor, T2, we all remember how much of a badass she was, but she started off as a very, very, you know, meek, uh, very scared, timid, uh, waitress in part one, in Terminator, and then part two, she comes back, and she's doing, we see her in the prison or in the psychiatric ward, wherever she was, and she's like doing pull-ups and she's doing push-ups and she's ripped. And speaking of rip, how about Ripley? Hmm? Alien, aliens, and the the aliens after that, super badass. How about in, in Aliens when you see her in that that machine? You know that she's, uh, you know, kind of looks like she's a transformer in that thing. You know that remember that thing? And she's fighting uh, the alien with that. That's super badass, you know? And I don't even go back to, like, women like, you know, like, um... Ah, what's her name? Uh, she was in Jackie Brown, and she was in those, uh... Splaxploitation films. Oh, uh, Pam Greer. She was a badass. That's the 70s, right? That's in the 70s. And she was a badass woman that kicked ass and beat the, you know, crap out of men that kind of kept her down. But she wasn't saying, oh men are, are evil and they're weak and we have to you know 
she was just basically just doing her thing and you know taking you know out taking out these men that were cruel to her or beat her up or hurt her family you know so you know I'm just going by what I heard before like people were saying that she's going around saying she's the first ever it ain't the first ever you know and now you have studios that the studios that want to push her to be in the, the next uh, Star Wars films and you have uh, the people behind uh, the writers behind uh, Game of Thrones that are going to be writing the Star Wars films and I guess the next trilogy and I don't watch Game of Thrones I don't think I ever will but I'm hearing a lot of people who are just totally disgusted and really upset on how the season 8 went and how it ended you know, the, the series is done now, it's not coming back, and it ended on a note that nobody liked, and don't know what that means, because I don't watch Game of Thrones, but you're gonna put Star Wars hands in, in the hands of writers who totally messed up when it came to Game of Thrones, and not even ending it on a note that, you know, fans can agree with, I mean... That's pretty shaky if you ask me. And Brie Larson being cast in the Star Wars films. I mean, you know, Disney's already, you know, effing up when it comes to the franchise. They've taken it in a direction that nobody likes. Even the stars of the original trilogy cannot stand what they're doing, especially, namely, Mark Hamill. So if you want to pretty much uh, bring the franchise down and make it go down in flames, just, just hire her. Because, yeah, who knows? She may end up being a great uh, addition to the Star Wars films. But you know what? Her reputation precedes her. And it's not going to generate any kind of attention from her fans, her psychotic fans that want to threaten violence. Yeah, it'll, it'll attract them. But how many millions of them are there? How many of them are there? As compo- compared to the ones that compared to the ones that don't even want to have anything to do with Star Wars let alone a Brie Larson starring film or a, an appearance that she makes, you know? And what is her role going to be in a Star Wars film? You know, isn't it like the Jedi are no longer, especially after, you know, episode 9? Like, you know, there's going to be no long, no more, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, Skywalkers, you know? There's no more reference anymore not referencing anymore to the old star wars and trilogies even i'm sure the prequels as well it's like they're not going to exist anymore i don't know if these guys are going to go and dig into the alternate star wars comics and other alternate stories that nobody wants or nobody cares about you know it's like i hear that there's people in the YouTube community, these channels that are being threatened by these cowards. And I'll say cowards, because that's what they are. Keyboard warriors, man. All they know how to do is just threaten you from the keyboard. Guarantee to you, if, uh, some of the guys that are being threatened and they break their door down and they confront them, they're going to be cowering in the corner, crying, probably pissing their pants. Because they didn't, you know, they didn't mean it. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Look, please leave me alone, you know. And of course, the ones that will do that, go after them, they're just going to look at them and pretty much they're not going to do nothing physical to them. They're going to tell them to knock it off. Or else they're going to call the cops or they're going to call the proper authorities. Because people on that side, when it comes to the ones that Brie Larson's fans are attacking, they're not violent. They're the ones that keep getting threatened. Just like when you, if you're a fan of Trump, if you're uh, someone who voted for him, you wear the MAGA hat. And then you get these idiots that say that that Trump is a misogynist. He's, uh, a, you know, like, a, so they're saying now that they're, they're trying to say that he's a pedophile. They're trying to say he was part of that ring with that one sex ring with that one guy who, you know, they're already saying that uh, Bill Clinton is going to, uh, you know, go down with that guy because he was on his plane uh, where he was allegedly having sex rings and all that stuff. And they're calling Trump all kinds of names and they're saying he's this and that. Yet Trump just goes about his business, you know, signing bills, doing his job as a president, 
And then you get these other people who hate him and say that he's this and that. Yet these people are the ones that are violent. You know, they're the ones that attack people at rallies. And God forbid if someone who wears a MAGA hat and he defends himself and then he's going to be called out because, oh, look at that. He's a Trump fan. He's, he follows Trump. Look what he's doing. He's being violent. You know, do these guys who want to do that and think that it's cool and that you are protecting, you know, the honor of Brie Larson. Brie Larson is a big girl. You know, she puts her pants on one leg at a time. Or she slips her dress on like a grown-up girl. You know, she it's you know, she gets dressed up by herself. She doesn't need your guys' help. And like I said earlier, do you think she cares the way she is? I'm sure she cares about her fans, but if she doesn't say anything about this and she doesn't bring up the fact that you guys need to stop because she's a big girl and she can take care of herself and that sticks and stones may break my bones, but the names will never hurt me. I wonder if Brie Larson uh, follows that, because obviously you guys don't, because you guys get, you know, words thrown at your favorite girl, and you guys are threatening violence. It's totally, total BS, and y'all need to check yourself. Saying goes, check yourself before you wreck yourself, applies here, because you're going to go too far one day, and you're going to have the authorities knocking on your door, and you're going to wonder what the hell's going on, why are these guys... I mean, maybe it's because you're threatening violence and threatening a person's life over, you know, social media. And there are idiots out there that don't realize that when they type something and send it out into the Twitterverse, social media um, outlets everywhere, people are going to see it. There are people that monitor, you know, Twitter and Facebook and all that. Um, but, you know, it's like, just chill out with that shit that stuff you know because you're not impressing nobody seriously you're just all you're doing is showing your ignorance if someone says something to you verbally and you want to threaten violence is that are you guys part of that generation that got participation trophies when your team didn't win my generation and that's i believe it's right before your guys' generation you know we were a generation that you know i played basketball and I did these other things that they would do, um, especially for the elementary, you know, they would have that, I guess they called it field day, and you would have these different events, and I never took home a ribbon, not even a participation trophy. I wasn't good enough, but you know what? I'd go home, tell my dad, my dad's like, ah, next year, okay? Don't cry about it, next year, you'll be, you'll, 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 you'll try hard. And I'm like, okay, and I'd go to my room, and I'd be sad, and I'd be upset, but it's like, Man, the way you guys were raised, oh my god, it's like, you guys will throw a tantrum, and I, I called it. I said, when I first started seeing these participation trophies being given, I was like, that spells trouble. In 10 years, 20 years, the most, we're going to start seeing the ramifications of that generation, of that thinking that, oh, just give them participation trophies. Even losers are winners, too. It's like, you don't build up a... A, a strong person that way. You don't teach a person to learn to lose before you win. You know. But, uh, well, you know, that's this video and that's my thoughts on this. Uh, for those of you who stopped by, thanks for uh, doing so. I appreciate it. And as always, in the closing, take care.